listening to I Am Refocused Radio with your host, Shamaya Reed. This show is designed to inspire you to live your purpose and regain your focus. And now, here's your host, Shamaya Reed. Hey, welcome to I Am Refocused Radio. We are here once again, and today we have another show lined up for y'all. Today we have a, a guest that's going to talk to us today, Minister Corinda Dion. She is an author, a keynote speaker, and TV personality. Today, we're going to have a fun topic. We're going to talk about how to level up. But before we just do that, let's welcome our guest today, Corinda, to the show and say, how are you doing? I'm well. How are you? All is well. All is well. So before we dive into uh, today's topic, how to level up, kind of share with the audience a little bit of you and your business. Oh, sure. Absolutely. First, thank you again for for having me on your platform. Um, I am excited to join in and encourage our listeners on um, on tonight uh, or whenever they're listening in um, to your show. But um, I am from uh, Baltimore, as we say, be more. Um, Some of us say be more careful. But from Baltimore, Maryland, born and raised, um, only girl, two brothers, daddy's girl. Um, But at a very young age, uh, my parents, had me very active in, in several things, uh, one being piano, another being, uh, uh, you know, theater, uh, some classes in that. But I, I took dramatic reading uh, contests uh, or participated in dramatic reading contests. And, um, you know, from a very young age, my parents had me before audiences and on stage and learning how to present and learning how to connect uh, with people. And um, that has just stayed with me throughout. Um, I also, at a very young age, loved writing poetry. Um, I was, uh, you know, I'm, I was a girly girl, still am a girly girl. And, um, but writing was a safe place for me. So, you know, a lot of times when kids were outside jumping fences and playing in dirt, um, I was in my room um, just using my imagination, creativity, and, and writing poetry. And, uh, you know, my mom uh, said to me that, you know, take that seriously. One day, you know, it might turn into a book or, you you, you know, I may go into something bigger. And, uh, you know, initially I, I, I just said it's a hobby, but sure enough, it did. And Soul of a Poet was my first book uh, that I that I uh, had did and uh, very proud of that project. And since then, um, became a contributing writer for a book called The Weight, W-A-I-T, to Success. And then um, after that launched um, another project, uh, called Perfect Patty Messed Up, which is a 40-day inspirational devotional for women um, learning how to embrace their mistakes and move forward gracefully. So uh, I would I would say definitely with the support of my parents and them um, supporting my gifts and, and talents at a very young age has helped me to to be the woman I am today and walking in those gifts and talents today as a speaker and author. Once again, listen, I'll be focused on radio talking to our guest today, Mr. Corinda Dion. And you mentioned how poetry, you started at, at a young age. How do you believe writing poetry has helped you develop your creativity and imagination? Oh, wow. Oh, gosh, it definitely has. You know, um, again, writing for me was it was a safe place and it was a place where I didn't have to hold back. I didn't have to, um, you know be reserved, so to speak. It was a place where um, I could let it, I could let it all out. You know, the pen, and the paper um, became freedom for me. And so um, no matter what I was going through or challenges I was facing, if it was in school or just developing as a, as a young woman, uh, writing just allowed that space for me to express. And it, it, it just really helped to develop because I was able to really be in tune with emotions and with feelings. Um, and so still to this day, um, I don't write poetry as much as I used to, um, but still to this day, when I do write, it's just like, I just can feel it, you know? It's just that emotion, that, that rush of, uh, of, of creativity, of words coming to life and uh, of truly letting those words speak for you um, without reservation. So it it helps to build confidence um, and it helps you to love the skin that you're in. Um, I believe that's, I forgot what commercial brand that is, but it is true, but it it helps for you to be confident in who you are um, when you, when you put pen to paper. So I'm, I'm, I'm very big on that. 
And speaking of uh, being confident, that goes into transition to our topic for today, uh, how to level up. So starting off for you, what does leveling up mean personally for you? Yeah, so you know, leveling up, um, it, it means uh, quite a few things. But I'll I'll say one one major thing it means to me. It's it's knowing who you are, and it's being true to that. Um, because truth be told, you know, you can you can have influence of others. Um, you can be influenced by advertisement, by social media. Um, you can be influenced by what you see other people are doing. But that does not necessarily mean that's what you. Are to do or that that doesn't necessarily mean that you need to say yes to that project or initiative or that investment so leveling up is really understanding who you are um that's that's number one um truly and being true to that being okay with that um you know embracing those strengths and those weaknesses and not allowing yourself to um, get caught up in something that really is not aligned with your purpose um, so that's what, that's one thing. And another way in which, you know, leveling up is important is leveling up when, you know, you're going through those rough moments in your life. Um, cause it's, 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 it's all good when everything is well. And, you know, you've got your cheerleaders and your fan club and your audience and everyone's giving you a standing ovation, but you know, when you're hitting, when it feels like ground zero, um, how do you level up then? You know, how do you work your way back up when you feel that? Um, you know, you, you, you've hit rock bottom. And so um, there's several ways that, you know, leveling up applies to people. But, you know, one of the things that I've been talking about a lot lately is first and foremost is knowing who you are and being true to that in itself. You mentioned earlier about aligning with your purpose. Uh, do you have an example of a time where um, when you align with your purpose, how it brought you to unexpected opportunities or just you know, blessings? Yeah. So, you know, one of the things that I, I have done um, quite a bit in life is, is pivot, you know, and, and pivoting is, pivoting is necessary at times, but it really shouldn't be the norm. Um, you know, I would pivot because, you know, I would hear a good idea. I would tell my girlfriends, like, I am a salesperson, you know, dream come true. You know, they, they don't even have to work hard with me. I, I'm like, oh, you know, it does this, it does that sign me up. I'm all in. So for me, it was like if, if, if it was a good idea or if other people were doing it or everybody was getting on the bandwagon and investing and doing this, I felt like, okay, then that means I need to do it too. And that's not necessarily true. Um, and so pivoting, it's, it gets old after a while because at some point you've got to stop turning, you know, around in circles or turning, um, pages and and really make progress and so um one of the things that i really had to do was just come to grips with understanding listen my purpose is to encourage women my purpose is to minister my purpose is to speak life through inspiration through god's word um and and that's what i'm purpose to do um and so you know pivoting is good but it shouldn't be the norm so if you find yourself you know, one one month you're involved in this project, and then the next month, you know, you you signed up to do something else. Um, it, it's going to be hard for you to get focused and really put that time and effort in on what your purpose is. Um, so I would say, just you know, definitely take inventory. I had to do that. I had to start saying no to a lot of things. And um, if I did pivot, it was for the purposes maybe to rebrand or maybe to align with how my industry was changing to service people, but it's no longer to pivot because I'm just trying to keep up with the next good idea or be a part of the next big investment or be influenced by what someone else is doing. We're talking to our guest today, Minister Corinda Dion. Go to her website. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. I lost my place. You can go to her website, com. And when we are talking about today's uh, topic, how to level up, we all face challenges, you know, but out of those challenges can come opportunities. In what ways do you seek out those new challenges to help you level up in your personal and professional life? Yeah. So th there's three questions that I ask myself, you know, when it's time to level up, 
um, and, and really take things seriously. And we're talking about alignment with purpose. You know, the first thing that I do is I, I consult, you know, I consult with God. Like I, I have a conversation and um, I really care. I want to know what he has to say, what his thoughts are, how is he leading me? How is he directing me? And, you know, some people say to me, well, you know, I, I did, I, I asked God, I consulted and I didn't hear anything. And I, and I tell them, well, I'll, I'll give you a, a piece of wisdom that my spiritual mom has told me over and over again, that sometimes silence is also an answer. Um, but I, I don't, I no longer commit to things. I no longer say yes to things without first consulting with God. Um, number two is um, I make sure that this, new project or this initiative, again, as I said before, aligns with my purpose. Um, that is very, very important um, because we, we already have so much going on in our lives. And so when you're talking about setting goals and when you're talking about leveling up and when you're talking about purpose, it, you've got to be clear on what it is you're doing and why you're doing it. And that leads me to number three. Um, the third thing I do is ask myself, well, what is the why? Why am I saying yes to this assignment? Why am I saying yes to this um, initiative or saying yes to this commitment? And, you know, what, what is my why? Um, so, you know, I, I hope that helps people when they're trying to be clear or get clarity on their next move, or if they're facing something that um, they just need more wisdom or guidance in. Definitely, um, those are three things that um, I do each and every time. And you mentioned uh, God's direction when it comes to that. Have you ever experienced a negative consequence for ignoring his direction? Oh, absolutely. 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 You know, um, yes. And it's it's so, so imperative to to definitely um, make sure you you spend that time to to really um say yes and, and let your yes be yes and your no be no as God leads you because when you want it your way um, and you're adamant about doing it your way, um, it, it can be a it can be a very delayed process. Um, not to say that what God has for you won't come to pass and, and it won't happen, but my goodness, you can put your own self in some major, major detours. You know, I tell people too a lot, this is, this is a personal quote of mine that I say, you know, if your shoes are untied, you will trip. If they stay untied, you will fall. Don't be your own stumbling block. And um, a lot of times that's, that's what happens. We do become our own stumbling block. And um, one of the things that I had to learn in life is that um, I can't have this microwave mentality um, when it comes to leveling up, because leveling up is a process and it takes time. And so if I look at life in the same way, you know, I might prepare my food, uh, you know, once or twice a week, um, I, I'm going to be in for uh, some imbalances, uh, basically, um, because as nice as it is to, to have your food warm really quickly in the microwave at the end of the day, um, it has the tendency to cook unevenly. And so you, you've got to level up with patience, um, and that is very, very important. And so, yes, um, have, you know, not doing it God's way, have I experienced situations uh, in, regarding some delays and, and things that I had to really learn? Yes. Um, and so that's why it's so important to do it his way um, and just be patient in the process. Listen, I'll be focused radio talking to our guest today, Corinna Dion. Go to her website, Corinna And today we're talking about how to level up. The process of leveling up can also include failure and disappointment. So, for our audience, what are some possible ways to reframe uh, disappointment, you know, when we're facing yeah. those storms? Yeah, that's a good question and good conversation to have because disappointment is inevitable. We will face it. Some disappointment um, comes, you know, within our control, so to speak, and some outside, meaning there are times in, in life where there's disappointment on levels where it just it's, it feels tragic. Um, so disappointment is something that we will all go through and it varies. But the one thing that I say uh, a lot regarding disappointment and or when people talk about missed opportunities um, is perspective. 
And um, that's very, very important to understand. It's your perspective regarding that um, disappointment or that missed opportunity that will make the difference. Now, I'm not saying not to feel what you feel. I'm not saying, you know, um, not to not to cry. I'm not saying not to um, talk to someone or even seek professional help if that's what you need and, and if that's what it causes for. But what I am saying is um, you, you do have to mature enough to look at it from a perspective of, you know, am I going to allow this situation or continue to let the situation hold me back or am I going to press forward towards the mark, right? Am I going to press forward towards the mark? And so that's about perspective. Um, I was, I'll share this really quickly. I was, um, I was interviewed not long ago and I was telling um, the person that, you know, I'm a huge wrestling fan. I've been, I've been watching wrestling all my life since a little girl. And um, one thing that I've learned in life is that, you know, not all matches are title matches and not all matches our main events, but every match prepares you for a bigger stage. And, you know, some of the greatest wrestlers are not respected because of the matches they won, but a lot of wrestlers who are well-respected, it's because of the matches they lost. And it's, and why is that? It's because they gave it their all in the ring. I mean, they gave it everything they had. And so I tell people all the time that nothing is ever missed when you give it all you have. And even in disappointment, there's hope even in that, you know, because if you have the breath uh, to breathe and the ability to get up and put one foot in front of the other, um, that's, that's, that's good, that's good. And so, um, you know, it's a matter of perspective. And so I hope that helps um, even in disappointment because it can hurt, it does hurt, it doesn't feel good. But uh, at the end of the day, um, how are you going to see that um, down the road? Because if you look at it as it's preparing me for a bigger stage, it absolutely can and will do that for you. You have a remix of When Life Gives You Lemons. And if you can <laughs> kind of share the full statement of that for our audience. Yes, When Life Gives You Lemons. Listen, do not make lemonade. I'm a big fan. We're not making lemonade anymore. Um, you know, you throw those lemons back. You know, it's the challenge, but you throw those lemons back. So that means, you know, take accountability for what you need to take accountability for. Um, that means, you know, grow in your muscle of maturity. Um, that's so, so important. So, you know, that means you may have to invest in reading some books and materials and linking up with people who know more than you and um, minimizing your time on social media and, and TV and and really pouring into yourself. You know, I think um, it's important sometimes to have less output and greater input um, in order to grow. But yeah, we, we're throwing those lemons back. I love it. <laughs> the other thing I'll ask too is when it comes to reflecting on your past success and failures, how do you use your, your reflecting time to uh, kind of process your next move? Yeah. Oh my God. That's a good question. How do I use my reflecting time to process on my next move? Well, I use my reflecting time by, you know, really asking myself, what did I learn from the situation? And not just what did I learn, but um, how has the situation made me a better person? Um, how has this situation given me wisdom? And not to feel that if I don't want to get super spiritual, but not to feel that heaviness uh, or weight of guilt or shame, right? Because somebody really needs to hear your story. Somebody really needs to hear what you're going through. You know, um, you can read my bio or, or my background. Um, you know, I, I have been through uh, failed marriages. I have been through failed business relationships. Um, I have been through uh, sickness and affliction. I've been through tragedy of the loss of my brother. But if I keep that all to myself, um, I hinder being a greater witness. And so, um, you know, if there's something that I can do or share that can help or encourage someone, then it's okay that my scars will help identify who I am. I'm good with that. 
Once again, listen to Omni Focus Radio. Talk to our guest, Corinda Dion. You can also visit her website, CorindaDion.com. And when you look at, you mentioned faith uh, in this episode. When you look at faith, how do you use that influence to power you through life's uh, storms? Yeah. You know, one of the things I do is um, I, I look at, I have a I have a thing where it's, it's a brag book, um, and it, it's a it's I call it my brag book on God, and I keep a monthly, um, uh, I keep I keep a monthly, a Karen, so I, I keep I keep a monthly record. I was trying to think of the word I wanted to say, of the things that God has done on a monthly basis. Um, that it's just like wow, you know. Um, there were times also that I would write a gratitude list. Um, you know, on a daily basis to keep me rooted and grounded in faith. Um, but yes, I, I I do a brag book um, where it's called, you know, bragging on God. And I just write testimonials or short sentences or maybe a bullet point or whatever regarding, you know, each month and, and what he's done. I also look at, you know, the faith of those before me. You know, I have a, a grandmother who's 91 years old, never been educated. Um, I think she just has an elementary school education, picked crabs, was a crab picker all of her life. Uh, but she had faith in God. She raised her four children. Uh, she was able to, you know, purchase a home and buy a car and, and, and provide for her children. And out of her, out of, out of her womb and out of her birthing, you know, she's got grandchildren and great, great grandchildren and great, great grandchildren who are doing some phenomenal things. And so even looking at those who came before um, and really leaning on their their prayers, you know, um, I can't speak for anybody else's family, but the, the men and women in my family, they we pray. I mean, they they are prayer warriors. And so I know like if I if I if I'm weak, I can lean on the strength of someone else's prayers, um, you know, to help build my faith as well. If someone right now is listening to this and they're all excited because, you know, they're ready to go to the next level and, and make things happen. But what if a person listening right now, what if they're broken and they're hopeless and they're wondering what their better future will look like? What would you tell them? So the first thing I would tell them, the first thing I would ask them is, do you believe that Jesus loves you? Do, do you believe that there is a love that runs so deep for you that no matter what it is that you're going through, they are there for you. They are there to hear you, to listen to you, to develop you. Like, do you believe that he truly loves you? That there is nothing you could ever do or say that would cause him to turn his back on you? Um, you know, do you, do you believe that, you know, insults and disappointments can turn into results. Do you believe that? And and I would challenge them to build their heart vocabulary. Um, that is so, so important when you're in a place of, of despair, when you're in a, a place of loneliness, when you're in a place of uh, feeling defeated, um, you've got to build your heart vocabulary. And so I would ask them to start thinking of words and not just think them, but speak them. Um, to build their heart vocabulary um, on a daily basis. That is so, so, so important. So for example, for me, uh, quickly, because I know, I think we're running out of time soon, but I would say things, you know, I say things on a daily basis, such as um, today, good news will locate me. Um, today, if the birds of the air eat well, so will I. Today, I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. You know, um, today, every insult will turn into results. Um, so, you know, you've got to build your heart vocabulary that is so, so important um, when you are going through and definitely link with someone that's trustworthy. Yes, ultimately, it is God who is our heart fixer and and he is the one who does the ultimate changing and healing and restoration. But you still need to link with someone who you feel uh, is trustworthy that you can be vulnerable with in that time and that will help. Uh, walk you, you know, help help you get to where you need to be in your next level in life. 
Once again, talking to our guest, Karina Dion, go to her website, karinadion.com. And today's topic, how to level up. Uh, as we wrap this up with our audience, what's the best call to action if someone's interested in your services? Oh, wow. Best call of action. Absolutely. Uh, definitely go to my website. Uh, thank you so much for, for plugging that in um, throughout the show tonight. Um, but definitely, yes, visit me on my website at Corindadion.com. Um, You also can find me on social media um, at Corinda Dion LLC on Facebook and Corinda Dion on Instagram, as well as Corinda Dion on YouTube. So there's, there's several ways to get in contact with me. Um, I would love for us to connect and uh, for us to level up. I mean, it's, it's so important. We've been talking to author, keynote speaker, TV personality minister, Corinda Dion. I want to say thank you for your time talking to Army Focus Radio. Thank you. Thank you.